Here we go, what a guest we've got on. Absolutely gorgeous, looking a million lira, Massimo Donati. I, How are you doing, Mass? I'm okay, thanks. I'm giving you the title as the second coolest guy to ever play for Celtic Reserves. Second. Why? Who is first? Uh, Mark Brown, the goalkeeper. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> now, full Italian, half Italian, should we... You're half Italian? Half Italian, yeah, mate. You're not half yeah. Italian. Soprano. <laughs> Gamora. No, I'm not that way. <laughs> I'm the right way. Right, mate. Grew up in Italy. Found yourself in uh, Italy under 21s at Atalanta. AC Milan come in for you. Was there a lot of uh, top clubs in for you at that time? Yeah. Uh, you know, I started to uh, play professional, uh, you know, like 18 years old. And uh, I had all academy in Atalanta. Uh, after the academy, you know, uh, I, I was a bit lucky because one of the coaches was in the academy grow, growing up in the first team and he took me with him. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and after a few months on the bench, the, the team was a bit in trouble and they say, right, it's your time to play. And uh, from that time, that moment, I started to play, play well. We was in the Serie B mm -hmm. and we had... Uh, promoted in Serie A, then I was the younger player on the team uh, and AC Milan came to, to buy me. Can you remember your first, very first game? For AC Milan? No, for Atalanta, your debut? Yeah, I remember that, 29th yeah. of August. 29th of August, yeah? Yeah. Nervous? Uh, no, that game I played just, uh, coming from the bench, I played just maybe 10, 15 minutes. Uh, not nervous because I work from seven, five, six, seven year olds with that target in my head. Mm -hmm. And then I was so focused what I want in my life, what I want in football. Then I was so concentrated to, to, to have my target, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, in all my career, I put targets in front of me and I have to take that. Was this an interview one of your targets? Getting interviewed by me, one of your targets in life? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, you hear AC Milan, uh, interest, desperate to go there straight away? Yes, because when I was like a, a, a boy, I was AC Milan fan. Oh yeah? Yeah, then, then was, uh, was a dream for me, right? Uh, because when you play for a team you support, is absolutely magic. And a team like AC Milan, you know, is mm -hmm. unbelievable. Big team, uh, big stadium, big fans, everything was maybe, no, no maybe, was sure too much for me at that moment mm. because, you know, I had just one, one season Serie B, one season Serie A and when you play for uh, teams like that, you have to be so strong in the head. Not talking about qualities, you know, football qualities, because I think maybe I can stay there in that team for my qualities, but if you're not strong in your head, it's so difficult. And my, I think my mistake there was, wow, I'm in Milan, five years contract, is done, you know? I say, now it's easy, you know, the, the life. And if, if you're thinking just a wee bit like this, you're done. No chance. Uh -huh. Yeah, you go there, up, but if you think like that, you go back again. For me, good example was uh, Rino Gattuso. You know, Rino Gattuso, no great qualities, mm -hmm. football qualities, but so strong, so strong. AC Milan played 10, 10 years for AC Milan, maybe more. He won the uh, Champions League, won the everything, uh, Mundial, Cup, Cup Mundial, everything, World Cup. He won everything because he was so focused and strong as well. And now, like, he's a manager of AC Milan. Nobody in Italy expects he, he, he can do a manager, you know, for his character is mm -hmm. so strong. It's like, uh, fuck off, like this, <laughs> And now he's in AC Milan, you know, then he's a good example for me. Yeah, yeah. So when you went to AC Milan, who were the big players in the dressing room at that time? You're talking about the person, about players? Players, who were the best players? Uh, Maldini. Maybe best one, uh, but it's difficult to say because it was Rui Costa, Shevchenko, uh, Pirlo, Costa Curta. You wow. know, it's difficult to say, but Maldini, 
uh, was one of the oldest on the dressing room and in the training was always first, first to, to, to train the group, you know, mm -hmm. take group. It was always in front and, uh, you know, for the stats in the training, always number one. Yeah. Yeah. Even though he was 30, no 60, problem, 30, no, no problem, problem yeah. always first. And would guys like, would he help you being a younger guy coming into the club? Would he, would he be good with you? Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they really helped me because uh, when you're in a big teams, you find big players and big person as well. Because I don't believe uh, you can play in a big team if you're not a big person as well. Mm -hmm. Then, when I was there, I find a very good person as well. Yeah. Was it frustrating that AC Milan kept sending you out on loan? Or was that the right thing for you? No, it was, was right because, you know, they, they, they paid the, for me a lot of money and they expect from me, you know, great games and blah, blah, blah. And I didn't. Then uh, I went on loan and for four years maybe. And I, every end of the season when I was on loan, I was expecting to have another chance because I realized I was my mistakes before. And uh, I say now I'm ready, next season I'm ready. When I left, when I left the AC Milan f uh, first year on loan and they won a Champions League, right? AC Milan won a Champions League uh, in the final against Juventus. I think in Manchester was the final, right? And the, the interview just after the game from Galliani, say, you know, is Galliani? Uh -huh. Yeah, he say, you know, first guy for next season is Massimo Donati. Wow, just finished the Champions League. He say, wow, very good. Now I'm ready, ready to, to go, play, uh -huh. but wasn't, wasn't uh, right, you know. Uh -huh. They sent me again on loan, on loan, on loan. And, and after came Celtic uh, uh, to take me. Yeah. Last question on AC Milan. I've always wanted to know this. So these big players, you know, in Scotland you get a laugh in the dressing room. There's always fun jokes. Were they big players? Was it the same at AC Milan or was it more professional, more serious? No, no. It's, it's, it's the, the same, you know, yeah. because the, the big players have a laugh as well in the dressing room. You know, it's not like serious. Uh -huh. Then uh, it's, it's like the same. For me, it's a big difference here because sometimes when they say something to laugh, I don't understand. <laughs> then, <laughs> then in Italian, it was easier because yeah. it's my first language. Here, uh, it's like the same. Who were the funny guys, the, all, all the big players? Who was funny? Who was the characters? Italy or here? In AC Milan. In AC Milan? Uh, I think Pirlo. Pirlo, yeah? Yeah. Because he looks dead serious. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's opposite. Yeah? Yeah. Joker, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, so when you first heard the Celtics' interest, what was your thoughts? Did you know much about Celtic as a club? Listen, uh, yeah, I know, you know about the, the, the Celtic history. You know, I know how big was the team, is the team. But, uh, you know, I, I just finished one season on loan with uh, Atalanta and the season was very good for me and for the team, okay? because I'm back in Atalanta on loan, right? Yeah. After years. And the season was amazing, very good. And, uh, you know, finish the season, uh, the Atalanta say to me, listen, uh, now we won't buy you again back, you know, yeah. after four or five years. You know, good season, but on loan now, you want you are our player. Permanent, yeah, yeah. Yeah, permanent, right? I say, yes, why not? But one day I was in the summer home it's a good story, this one, eh? Oh, yes! Come on, I'll tell you. <laughs> I, was, I was home, uh, my mom and dad, you know, because every summer I go for a week to my mom and dad, right? Uh, I received a phone call, private number, right? But I was with, the phone was not no with me, it was like there. I say, my wife, can you answer, please? Right? She answered, and nobody talk, right? I put the line down, put, I put the phone. And my wife starts to say to me, who was there? Who was a private phone? Oh, I was no. a girl. I was there. I say, I don't know who was, you know, I, I, I don't know. And uh, I, I start to have an argument with my wife for this phone call, right? <laughs> right. Wait, maybe 10 minutes, argument, who was, why I was calling private number, phone again. Private number, oh shit, I was a bit, you know, <laughs> not scared, but I say, oh my God. Right, I answered the phone call and was Andriy Shevchenko. 
right? Uh, I say, wow, because, you know, I left AC Milan five years before, uh -huh. four years before. I say, wow, you know, if um, Shevchenko is a bit, you know. A uh, hero. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what's up, everything okay? He say, listen, uh, you, you was at the phone before? He say, yeah, yeah, it was me, but it was a, a woman. I was thinking it was an incorrect number, right? I say, okay, my wife's okay now, <laughs> right, okay. And he say to me, listen, you want to go to Celtic? I say, what? Yeah, I'm uh, a friend with one of the, in the board of Celtic, and uh, he asked me if you are interested to go at Celtic. I say, yes. He say, how much do you want at here? Listen, no way. Li? Uh -huh. Listen, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't like play, um, talk about money. I just say, say to you, yes, I'm, I like that, that opportunity, but don't speak with me about money because this is not for me. I, I don't know what I can say you now, right? If you want, I give you my agent uh, phone number and you phone him. All right, I let you know. Give me a number, I let you know. And after they phone, uh, know him, know him, someone Somebody from the else, board, yeah. uh, phone my agent and... Brilliant, eh? Yeah. So Andrei Shevchenko, Celtic fans, you've got Andrei Shevchenko to thank. <laughs> but why, why when he said Celtic, why yes straight away? First, opportunity to play in Champions League. Okay. Second, for... God how, tracking. How big, <laughs> how big was the club? Yeah. How big are the fans? I already know. Mm -hmm. And for the contract as well, because, yeah. you know, and, uh, all these, these uh, things, was right for me in my in my head, and I like try uh, have a new experience, you know, in other countries, uh, in other countries. Then I was happy about that and done. Yeah. So you signed for Celtic. Uh, took Neil Lennon's shirt number. Yeah. Eighteen. Yeah. Were, were you told that you were there to replace Neil Lennon? They told me. Yeah. Uh, you know, now we finished to play a big player for us, uh, Neil Lennon. And uh, we are happy if you take his shirt. You agree? Yeah. You feel good to this? You say yes, of course. It's no, it's no, absolutely no problem. And I take his number. What did you think the first time you came to Glasgow? Cold? cold? Very cold. Yeah. No, first impression was because I think it was in June. Yeah. And I saw, you know, the way it was like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. It was still the... the, the you know, it was still the sun, not the sun, but you know, it was no night. Nice, uh -huh, you know, yeah. in Italy it's at eight o'clock in the summer, you know, the, the days are longer. Eight o'clock was, was, is uh, you know, it's dark, and here was half ten, eleven o'clock, and still not really dark. I say, where, where, where we are? Mm -hmm. And uh, that was first impression, a bit cold as well, but uh, after uh, a few days I was here, so I met um, my friend. Uh, Mimo from Bella Vita. Yeah. Top man, Mimo. Yeah, he's there with us. Lovely and, pasta. Yeah, and after 10 years, more 10 years, we are still, uh, still Good big friends. friends yeah. Yeah. So, see, when you signed, who was it you met first? Was it Gordon Strachan, the manager? Yeah. yeah. I met him, Good chat. In, I met him uh, in London, just with my agents to talk about uh, the, deal. The, the deal, the contract. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, you signed for Celtic. What was your first impressions of the, the standard of the player, standard of training? Was uh, good, very good. Everything was amazing. The only thing uh, was not good, uh, you know, the training ground uh -huh. wasn't ready. Was not Lennox Town yet. Uh -huh. Barrafield. Was Barrafield. Yeah. Then for me, go to the stadium, Celtic Park, change, take the car, and go to the Barrafield was a bit, you know, strange. Uh -huh. You know, because it never happened in Italy in yeah. things like this. You know. And it was a bit strange. You say, wow, we train in, like in the park. There's no, there's no, no. Talk shit on the pitch, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and listen, when come, come my friends, um, after a few months when we play against, play against AC Milan in Champions League, right? And they come the day before the game to watch the, the session, right? And they see this situation about you know, the day next we have got a game against AC Milan Champions League game uh -huh. and you play in, <laughs> in the final. You, you, you say to me, no chance you win tomorrow, <laughs> right? 
we want uh -huh. Joe and yeah, yeah. so it doesn't matter doesn't, doesn't matter, matter yeah of course who impressed you your first couple of weeks at Celtic what players impressed you straight away same question before like a player or like a person both uh, Nakamura brilliant eh unbelievable Eddie McGeady uh -huh. very very good Scott McDonald always score Scott Brown signed the same moment with me. Yeah. Gary Colbert, very good person. Uh, a lot of guys. Uh -huh. uh, see, when maybe see when Brownie first signed, did you think he would go on to have the career at Celtic that he had? No. Why? No. Uh, now, when I, I talking with someone about him, I say very unbelievable what he had, what he's doing yeah. for Celtic because you know a player playing ten and more years for one one team is. For a big team as well, is is very good. Yeah, he's done well. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask you about was that ginger haircut that you had. Remember you dyed your hair ginger? What was that all about? Do you want to be Scottish? Uh? Do you want to be the truth? Yeah, the, the truth. truth. Yeah, always the truth, mate. Oh, yeah. I, I think it's not good to say that. Go for it, mate. Come on. Right. I like, I like uh, in, in, you know, the, the, the colour in the head, the, the white. White, yeah? Yeah, white, right? And I want to do the, the in that time, I want to do the white one. Yeah. You know, uh, short and white. Just, M and M. Yeah, something like yeah, that, yeah. right? I was young, it's then, Slim shady, yeah. can't understand that. Then, I, I, but I didn't go to the barber to do this. Barber is the name. Yeah, barber. Yeah. Yeah, to do this, but I just bought myself no, in the shop no, no. A, a color, and I, do, <laughs> I had myself with my wife, uh, and I put this one. Wait, wait, wait. Was sore as well in my head. Right? <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was like this, it's sore. And I expecting was white at the end, and wasn't. It was like ginger, and after it was not a good moment. Uh -huh. I thought you were trying to copy the manager. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Okay. No, no. Uh, you scored your first goal for set like that day, though. So it must have worked, Aberdeen. Yes. Yeah, good feeling to score your first goal. Very good feel, uh, because I scored a goal. I had an assist as well for McGiddy, I think, yeah. Who was losing 1-0, win 1-2-1. Man of the match, first time man of the match, then still in my head that moment. Yeah, good. Uh, your first experience in the Champions League was Spartak Moscow. Were you uh, taken aback by how good the supporters, the stadium, everything was? Yeah, you know, play, play, play for in Champions League is, was one of my dreams when I was a, a, a boy. Then, then that game is not just that game, all games in Champions League are absolutely fantastic you know about because the atmosphere uh, and everything around uh, the sound when you go on the pitch you know music Champions League music is unbelievable mm. see the Celtic Park atmosphere is it the best in Europe do you think? yeah it's one of the best maybe the best but I don't I don't just me say that you know is uh, you know Nesta, yeah, Alessandro Nesta, Nesta. Yeah, yeah. he say the same. You know the atmosphere I when I play against Celtic there is one of the best. I, and he played. He said that to you? Not to me. Just, he he said in the papers. Said that the paper. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. And if he say that and he play in an old stadiums in the world, is maybe it's true. That year you got AC Milan in the Champions League. You drew drew AC Milan, um, and you looked really up for the game. Were you out to prove a point to AC Milan when you played against them? I was happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know the Celtic. Uh, bought me from AC Milan. Then, for me, it was so important that game because I want to show them uh, they have a mistake to, to, to sell me, you know. And uh, then that's why when um, we won 2 1 last minute with Scott McDonald, uh, they have the game, I was so, so happy. Yeah. yeah. How did, you, how did it feel beating them? Brilliant. Uh -huh. Yeah, very good because, you know, his AC Milan team was uh -huh. unbelievable, you know, the power of the players. What, see, that Celtic team, what was it about that team that could get results against teams like AC Milan? What did you just have? L listen, Celtic was a very good uh, team, yeah. very good players. Then, you know, I forgot before, Jan Venegro, Fesseling, great man. Great guy. Yeah. Uh, Celtic was a great team, you know, very good players uh, from Boros on the goal to the other one, to the strikers as well. Then, then was not really surprising, you know, we were beating AC Milan. Did you get anyone's top after the game? Yes, but I don't remember which one. No, I don't remember, okay. The Shakhtar, the next game, Aidan McGeady pulls the ball back for you. Uh-huh. Bang. Yeah, 
I think is that one, no one, is the best moment of my career because scoring in the Champions League, winning goal, and uh, we throw to the group as well with that goal, that was, was unbelievable. Uh, last second as well, all stadium, you know, say my name was uh, unbelievable. And sometimes now I go to, to YouTube to check and see again because, you know, it, yeah. Goosebumps? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. And how was, the no how was the noise when that, the ball hit the net, the noise? Well, you know, for, for a few seconds, you don't understand nothing. You don't know where you are. You don't know nothing because, you know, you've got uh, adrenaline. What's the name? Adrenaline, yeah. Adrenaline. So I then, uh -huh. for a few seconds, you don't understand nothing. Uh -huh. And after you scored that goal, how was it walking around Glasgow? Well, you a hero? People come yeah, up to you? Yeah. Was a, yeah, it was very, very good. Everybody stopped me, but still now. Yeah. After, yeah. After ten years, everybody say, "Oof, Shakhtar World, best moment, best moment." Then was so important goal. And then the best nights have been a Celtic player, Champions League. Best nights for being a Celtic player, or does old fan yeah, games beat it? The one at the against uh, AC Milan as well. Yeah. That's the two best, two best nights. Yeah. yeah. Um, did you like the intensity of Glasgow? People coming up to you all the time, the rivalry with Rangers, did you enjoy that? Is it similar in Milan or is it, was it something totally new to you? No, I think in, uh, in all world it's, it's the same, you know. I'm not a, I wasn't a big, big player, you know. But uh, here everybody, you know, remember me and everybody, you know, are happy when they see me. They still now will do, will do a pictures, then this is absolutely good for me, you uh -huh. know, because they... Re recognize how you had in the football and that is grateful. Grateful, yeah. 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 So there are the high, high points of your Celtic career. Low points, the falling out. Uh, Barry Robson and Paul Hartley came. Mm -hmm. Started the heady in the last 16 tie against Barcelona, you remember? Mm -hmm. yep. Was that the beginning of the fallout? Listen, uh, the, the, the problem here start uh, when after one game, uh, I don't remember the game, but was a good one. You know, they come to me a lot of journalists for do an interview, right? Like now, and uh, they ask me a lot of questions, you know, like you now. And one of the questions was, how is the difference Italian football and Scottish football? And I say the difference is all different, right? But I just say the difference of do, uh, football here and football there. Yeah. I just say the difference because it's the truth, right? And the day next on the papers was uh, Massimo say uh, in Scotland we have to do that to, to our like Italy to our for football are uh, better to become better yeah yeah that's like what I you have to change all of these things if you want to be better right but I didn't say that I you just said there was a big I, difference in the games yeah no no in the games in the life before uh -huh. the game after the game in training it was all different uh -huh. right and I said that and in the paper was was not what I said and Strachan wasn't happy about that. So he pulled you into the office? Yeah, w wasn't happy. What did he say when you defended yourself though? No, I, I tried to explain uh -huh. this situation, what I said as well, but from that moment, he, he put me in the, the reserves. Yeah, I remember. Play games in the reserves. And for, for, uh, for a person I am, when I went to the reserve, right, I go, I have to go back. I have to go back to the first team and start to work hard in the reserve. You uh -huh. remember that? Yeah, I do remember. I had a few, a few games in the reserve, play, score, work, I have to go back in the first team. It, it was after a few situations in the first team was some injuries, one uh, red card, some off. I have to go back because it was no players. Went back, first team, I had to play, play, play good. When, all right, I'm back, play good, when, play good, when. It was a, a week off because it was an international game, right? And Straka gave us an international uh, a, a week off. And I say, right, I have to stay here in Glasgow. If I, I stay one week without training, 
for me, for my person, for my body, I, I, when I come back after one week, I look like this. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm not, I not feel good, right? I say, okay, I don't say nothing. I go to train with the reserves team, right? On Tuesday, I think, or Wednesday, I don't know. Was so cold that day, so cold. And uh, in the training, I broke my big toe. Oh no! Yeah, two months out, and Strakan wasn't happy because I don't have to do go in training. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah. You're saying, meant to be off. Yeah, he's yeah. off. Why go to train? Wasn't happy, and from there, done. Done after that, was it finished? Yeah, it was finished. He never speak to you. Finish. Never get back in, no. Finish. No, it was, you know, it was like, I think, February, then the back, in, back in April and season finish. And. The team won the league uh, your first year on the last day of the season. How, how good an experience was that? Well, it was very good. Uh, you know, it was, it was a sad moment because uh, was uh, Tommy Bors was there just maybe a week before or two weeks before. Then it was a sad moment for everybody because Tommy Boss one, one, was one of the coaches, mm -hmm. right? Then very good person, unbelievable person. Then we was happy because we won the league, but in the, in the same time was a bit, think, we was thinking about him, oh, you know, yeah. pass away too early. Was that your first title that he won? Yes. Yeah. You get a night out after it? Yeah. Good? Yeah, it was good. Glasgow? Yes. Yeah, good, good, good. Uh, but Tommy, was he good for you, Tommy? Would he help you settle in at the club, Tommy Burns? Yeah, he, he helped me a lot, you know, because when I arrived in Selkie, you know, I, 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 I need a, a few weeks to understand football here, to understand the person. My English was zero. Then he, he stayed with me a lot of times to, to try to explain me more what the gaffer want, what was the life, a lot of things need for uh, to be good here. Mm -hmm. See, just on Gordon Strachan, did you think he was a good manager? Yes, he is, uh, because I don't have regrets. Regrets? Regrets, yeah. Yeah, with him, because, you know, I have to say thank you to him because he gave me opportunity to play for Celtic, to know this this club because he want me in Celtic because he, he he watch a game in Italy and he say well Massimo is good for us then definitely I have to say thank you to him mm -hmm. you know after we had the problems but that's part of the life part but of football yeah no regrets no problem and I think he's a he's a good manager yeah. how hard is it see when you go from the highs scoring for the Champions League stuff like that and then you need to come and play in the reserves with guys like me mm -hmm. how hard is that. For, for a for a big player like yourself, for me is is not uh, is not a big problem because I played for uh, big teams, but I play for uh, Messina as well. You know Messina. Messina, no, no, no. Right, Messina is a team uh, was in Serie A, right, but very slow team. Yeah. Right now is no more Messina. It's finished. Okay. You know? it, then, but. It, when uh, I went in some teams, if it's reserve, if it's AC Milan, if it's Celtic, if it's Hamilton, any team, I know I have to do my best, right? Don't care about the team, if it's big or not, if it's, uh, I've got a lot of fans or not, I just have to do my best. And in the games, in training, in life. Yeah, I remember that story, remember on the bus? Simon, I go from the, the San Siro to the Fourth Bank Stadium, <laughs> Floyd Falkirk away in the reserves. Yeah. I felt sorry. But you were brilliant, mate. Every time you came down, like you say, worked hard, hundreds yeah. of step overs, goals, brilliant, mate. You're yeah. top man. Is 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 what I try to 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 explain, to say, you know, the guys now I coach the Hamilton uh, uh, 15s and 16s for one year and a half before uh, I left the the the, the Hamilton, and I try to explain the same, is every second in football you can change something, you know. Football is, is strange, one moment you are there, the other moment you are there, then in your head you have to be so, so strong and be ready for both moments. Then, if you are in that situation, do your best. If you are in this situation, do your best. Uh -huh. Tony, Mobro, Tony Mowbray's arrival, so you get back in the team. Yeah. Were you happy when he got the job? I didn't know him before, right? Uh -huh. uh, but from day one, 
for first training, he absolutely loved me. You were, you were his type of player, weren't you? Yeah, because he was looking for, uh, for players to play football, you know, mm -hmm. and he absolutely loved me. And I remember we had a, a friendly game against Man City, right? And uh, he asked me, listen, Massimo, I have got nobody on the back. Can you play central uh, back? I say, yes, of course I can. But, you know, in front of there was Tevez, was Adebayor and Bellamy, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably Bellamy. Right. And the day before, he tries some, uh, something for the game. And I wasn't good the day before, you know, the game. Mm -hmm. And he was a bit scary. I was him, he was like this. <laughs> oh, no, oh, tomorrow is a bad day. Right. The, that day, the game, I was best player on the park, yeah. you know, very, very good game. And uh, we lost 2-1, I think, but I had a very good game. And uh, after the day, he say, oh, very good. And he loved me. Then he say, I was one of his favorite players. But uh, the season before, I already talked with the, with the board. I say, listen, after this season, uh, maybe it's time I go back in Italy, you know, too many problems. My wife here, two years, two years pregnant, was a bit homesick, ever homesick, yeah. Uh, then I say, maybe it's time to go. But I wasn't sure, I wasn't so, so sure to go back in Italy, you know. And when Tony Mowbray came, I definitely say, no, I want to stay here. But I, I was a bit in the middle, my wife, talks, uh, the board say, yeah, you say before you want to go, now you, you don't want to go. Mm -hmm. And after I had a, an offer from, from Italy, I say, all right, I go. But bigger mistake of my life. Leaving Celtic? Fo yeah, football yeah. life, yeah. See, just last, I forgot to ask you on Strachan. Were you happy when he, when he left? And, and, and did you just have a conversation to say, forget about the past, good luck for the future? No. Nothing? No, nothing. No. I was... I'm not honest if I say uh, I wasn't happy when he left because, you know, I had the problems. Yeah. Now I say no regrets, forget, no problems. You know, if I meet him now, how are you? It's no problems. But when he left Celtic, I was happy because, you know, he, for, for him, at that moment, I was none, I was nothing. Then, on, uh -huh. then uh, when it came Tony, you know, did you, did you enjoy Tony Mowbray's style of football, yeah? Listen, he, he, he liked uh, ball on the ground. And um, that moment, football moment here, nobody was ready for that. Mm -hmm. uh, he, didn't, he didn't have good results. No. Right? Why do you think that was? I don't know. I don't know. You know, in football, you need to be good, need to be lucky as well, need a lot of combination to have a result, right? Uh, for, to, for talk about this moment, you see Brandon Rogers come in, the first maybe months, he play like bam, 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 and fans say, what's that? Mm -hmm. Because they didn't know that maybe is a good way to play football, right? Because here football is just different, you know. But Brendan Rogers come here and say, now with Celtic we have to do this. And Brendan Rogers, how many games did he lose? 70, 80, 90? Uh -huh. How many games? Loads. A lot. <laughs> yeah. A lot. Uh -huh. And he played always like this. But not, to, but played someone to Tony, Tony Mowbray, yeah. Maybe much better. Yeah. <laughs> maybe much better. But the same ideas. Maybe yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. I don't know. I, did, I didn't have uh, Brendan Rodgers, you know, then I don't know which way he worked, but when I watch Celtic games, I like the type yeah. of play they, they have. Mm -hmm. Then now the fans understand as well. Then if the, the, the four on the back play the ball, bam, bam, free, up and down, up and down like this, right to the left, left to the yeah. right again, they don't say nothing now because they know they play is a good way to play football. So you said leaving Celtic was the biggest mistake of your career. Uh -huh. what, why? Because uh, when you left something uh, big, 
No, when you're in, in a, in a big, uh, a big club, you don't realize maybe how big it is. Mm -hmm. But when you left, you know, you know, oh, how big was there. And now I'm in a good club as well, but not like that. So how quickly do you realize that? As soon as you leave? Or is it a couple of months later you start? Yeah, to, just, yeah. just a couple of months later. But when I, 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 I leave Celtic, I went to Bari, right? And with Barry, we had an absolutely amazing season, right? Maybe we finished in eighth, eighth position, mm -hmm. right? Then very good season for Barry, mm -hmm. but was just different. And Barry, listen, good fans as well. Uh, stadium is 60,000 people every week full because the season was very good then, but Celtic, Celtic. But what, so what is different? What, what makes it so good? I don't know, it's, uh, I don't know, atmosphere, uh, how big it is, maybe colours, uh, uh, everything, everything, Champions League games, everything. You said the colours, you got a Celtic tattoo? Uh-huh. When did you get that? When I left Celtic, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Why? Just because it meant so much to you? Yeah, because I, I, I had a very good time in Celtic and uh, I, I will have in the future, in my head, that moments I spend uh, in Celtic then, and the, the you know, the, the symbol, symbol? Symbol, yeah. Of Celtic one is like, I don't know the name, but is a... Uh, Clover. La Margherita, li, li, il quadrifoglio. What Pizza, no, Margherita. No. <laughs> <laughs> il quadrifoglio, come si chiama? It's the symbol of the Celtic, the crest. The crest, the, the shamrock. Right, in, in Italy is Loki. Yeah, Loki, yeah, yeah, it's Loki. It's here everywhere. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, okay. okay. And then S Celtic tattoo, Loki one. I have got names of my family as well here in the, in the same tattoo, then all good. Brilliant, mate. Yeah, as you said, you had spells in Italy. And then for me, so strange, I seen you sign for Hamilton Akis. How did this, how did that come about? Yes, easy, easy question, this one, because, you know, 34, 35 years old. Wow, what, what I have to do now? Mm -hmm. uh, in, my, in my career, I had a lot of managers, right? A lot. And that is what I want to do in the future. I'm so focused on that, right? In Italy, you can't have an uh, e-license if you're still playing football. Mm -hmm. When you finish to play, you can do an e-license. Right? A license, so you can't do it while you're still playing? Yeah. Okay. Here you can do this. Yeah. Then, uh, speak with my family and say, listen, now I finished my career of football. It's not finished, it's almost finished because I'm 35, but I don't retire from football and do nothing. You know, for years I have to do something, need money come in uh -huh. for the life, you yeah. know? And, uh, I phone my friend, I say, listen, but what do you think if I come just for training uh, there in Scotland because I have got this idea, uh, this plan for my future, and I know there is a chance to play and do a, a e-license course as, as well. And my friend say, okay, I, I try to find something. And after a few days, he say, listen, I, I spoke with uh, this manager, was Martin Canning, and uh, I asked if you can go to train just for a week, you know, in the summer, mm -hmm. you know. And they went in Spain, in Spain when they was to train. And uh, Martin Kai was happy, was happy about me, about my feet uh, and everything. And say, listen, what do you think if you sign for us? He say, why not? And uh, I signed because it was no, was not here was no problem about money. I don't want, you know, big, uh, like contra, big yeah. contrast. Uh -huh. I, I was focused in play at the e-license course as well. Yeah. Right? Yeah, uh -huh. Then, now is, uh, I finished the second season here in, uh, in Scotland. E-license is almost done, finished this month. Then I'm happy, uh -huh. I'm ready for the future. I've done what you've came to do. See, playing for a team like Hamilton at the bottom, is it frustrating for a player like yourself when you want to get it done and pass it and it's kind of a long ball? Does it get frustrating? Listen, the, 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 the bigger problem I had in Hamilton 
was the the pitch was is a uh, artificial. Artificial. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. Uh, the other problem is that one uh, b because my idea of football is more pass passing, right? And uh, and there we play more long balls and mm -hmm. second balls, and then was a bit frustrating. Frus frustrating. Yeah. Frustrating. A lot of games, you know, just with the ball like this. So neck, yeah. Yeah, and was a bit frustrating, but uh, was a good time anyway because when you, you you save in the last in the in the play playoff, the last game was was good anyway. It was a target stay in the Premier League. We did that, and then was a good moment as well. When you 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 had your target and you find it is always nice if it's a, a league. If it's a promoting, like St. Mira now, if you save, that was the target, save, you save. You know, when you, you have your target, is you're done, it's all good. Feeling, good feeling, yeah. yeah. How was it going back to Celtic Park? Good, very Enjoy. good. Enjoy? Yeah, very yeah, good. See very old good. people, old faces, friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah very good. good. Yeah, because the, the people there working there around the club yeah. was everybody happy when, when they, they saw me, I'll still happy and say, yeah, Massimo, blah, 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 blah. Good relationship. Re yeah, so you finished at St. Mira now? Yeah. So you're saying you've done your A license and you want to do a manager in Scotland or in Italy? Listen, I'm in a moment 37 years old now. Looking great. Yeah, but are 37. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I already told you what I'm focused. But my dream, yeah. maybe, is like player manager. Okay. Right, you can do this in Scotland. Yeah. In Italy, you can't. Or you know to do anything in Italy. Yeah. Or you're a manager, or you're a player. Right. You can do both. Dream is that, but I don't close the door. If I have to do another season of footballer, but in my head, I know what I want. In the next years. So what if somebody just said manager, no football, manager? Oof. Of course. Yeah, you do it? Yeah, of course. Okay, so any Yeah, dep change? depends. Depends. Okay. So would you be happy to stay in Scotland for the next few years? No, no happy. I want to oh, stay in Scotland. Oh, you want to stay in Scotland? Uh -huh. Yeah. For the rest of your life? No, maybe the rest of my life, but I won't start that career here. Okay. Definitely. Good man. Whatever you do, mate, I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Let's go have some red wine. <laughs> okay. Top man. Thank Cheers, you very much. Thank you. Cheers.